I'm like ready for the morning. Oh, we got a Sai and a Lulu. Okay, I'll get up. I'll get up. Oh, yes. Good man. Huh? Can you grab it? Thank you so much. Good boy. Let's get you breakfast. Let's get you some breakfast, huh? Get you some breakfast. Good morning, family, and welcome to my chronic illness morning routine as a disabled spoonie with a service dog. This is kind of my chronic illness routine right now while I'm not working because I'm still looking for a job. Oh my god, my hair's gotten so dark. I wanna bleach it so bad. I miss being like light, light, light blonde. But yeah, good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget you stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the family. And don't forget to turn on that bell so you know whenever I upload. But yes, welcome to this basically just my chronic illness day in my life. I don't know where it's gonna go, but welcome to today's video. Uh, I just took out Simon to do his morning business. But he's all good for the morning. Something I do when I first get up is I clean both of his bowls. I clean his food bowl after every meal, but I clean his water bowl at least once or twice a day. I refill it as many times as possible, but I just clean his food bowl and filled up his water bowl with fresh cold water so that he can have his breakfast. He gets very excited for his breakfast. Don't know if I'm gonna make enrichment today or not. I made one topple yesterday. I'll definitely make some more bone broth ice cubes today. But I do lots of different stuff for his enrichment, so let's feed him breakfast before he absolutely loses his mind. And then I'm gonna give Luna her morning treats. I'm gonna put his water in here. Something I do in the morning uh, to his food because normally his evening feed is a training session or he eats out of his snuffle mat. So I always try to get him as much enrichment in a day as possible, especially if we don't go out that day or if we're not doing much. But I'm just gonna show you what I do to his food in the morning when I just give it to him all at once because he does eat pretty quickly. So I always try to put liquid in it. So I'm gonna put water mostly to soften it up so that it expands before it goes into his stomach as well. But I'm also gonna throw some bone broth in there and salmon oil that I use for him. Okay, here is my bone broth. Yesterday was the first time I put bone broth in his breakfast and he loved it. I was like, okay, say less. You can see he's hovering and he's very, very excited. Yes, you're still handsome. You're still handsome. I need to get my oil. So this is what I put in his breakfast every morning. It's just wild Alaskan salmon oil. It's for skin health because he gets dandruff in the summer and when his skin is too dry. So this has helped to add a lot of moisture back into his skin, his coat, and his paws. Are right, you ready? Sit. Good boy, wait. Eyes. Yes, okay. Free. You enjoy that. He's getting his food. Luna's like, it's time for my treats. It's time for your treats. Good morning, Miss Lou. Are you squeaking? You want treats? Yeah. Good job, sweet. Let's go to Katri. To your Katri. Yes! Good girl. She's so pretty. Alright, so pretty, Lou. Good girl. So, paw. Yes. Good job. Squeak. Good girl. This is how I do enrichment for Luna. I throw treats all over her cat tree. And she loves it, as you can see. If you don't know, this is what our kitchen looks like, slash this is where all my medical stuff is. So these are all tubing and stuff for fluids and Kevra. I have my heparin, my saline. So for, I need to 
Zofran. We keep this little kit next to my bed. And I have a prepped Zofran that was in a dark bag, so I'm gonna push that up because I... Oh, are you already done your food or did the cat bully you? Because Mama still got it unhooked from her TV. Okay, I'm gonna see how much longer I have. And my punk. This is a non-lipids bag. And hand sanitizer. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't go into my eye. It hit me there. Ooh. Ah. I also wanted to show you all my shirt. I wore this in my last video. I'm still wearing my Everything Hurts shirt. Check out Spoonie Things Boutique if you haven't already. They've got new stuff launching and dropping soon. I do have a discount code if you use my code Lindsay, all caps 10. It'll give you 10% off your order. So this is a double lumen pick line. So they do have pick lines and central lines that are like one lumen, but I needed two because I do TPN. So the purple one we try to keep reserved for TPN. And red I use for like everything else normally. Fluids and Keppra and blood draws is what we use my red line for. So they are for different purposes. Okay, yes, I do have Keppra here. Ready. You're just so cute. He's so cute. Yes, you're handsome, Sal. Handsome, handsome man. Here, take your paw. On. Yeah. Keppret is all done. So I'm gonna pop on a bag of fluids because I caught it. Ugh. Got my fluids. All connected to fluids. Yay. Luna's getting her sunbathing time. She's sitting at the top of the couch. If you can't see her, she's right. There. That's where she likes to get her sunbathing. Now I'm just gonna hang out and try to get my fluids in while I make some TikToks. Okay, I'm gonna make my first TikTok of the day and post it. I made two TikToks this morning, posted them both. I am like almost done with fluids. I'm going to happy me right there. Yes, she's a little bit more awake now. Thank you for the kisses. Good boy. But I just brought up working and going out and doing something. Yeah. Oh, you can stretch. You can stretch. Mama's not wearing pants. <laughs> yes, you handsome man. Look at that tail go. Look at that tail go. Look at you too, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Yes, you're so handsome. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. He's like, today, something is talking. What is it? <laughs> Okay, I just disconnected from my fluids, so I'm gonna cap my line off.
I'm all disconnected from my fluids and both of my lines are closed off. I'm now gonna put lotion on my tattoos. This is something that I, tr I try to do it every single day. I normally do. This is my newest one, my Lavian Rose. It is healing nicely. I also have the bow on my wrist right here with the sparkle accent. I have a rose on my side and I have my half brain, half heart, chronic illness, floral, you can piece over here. I try to moisturize them every single day just so that they last and stay hydrated and don't peel or anything. And I don't lose any of the art. Okay, I'm just gonna put some dry shampoo in my hair and get dressed, and then I'm gonna take someone out to play some ball. Gosh, it's actually like kind of nice today. I'm gonna get some sniffs in, do a little sniffy walk, and maybe throw the ball a little bit. You just did this. Okay, cookie. Oh yeah, he definitely loves that. Good boy. Hi, right, Mr. Ready? You did well. Good job doing your business, buddy. Go get it. Oh, sorry. That was a horrible throw. Good boy. He's like, that was a lame throw, Mom. Yeah. Good job. Good job. So we just got uh, inside. He got to play some ball. And this is the topple that I made that I'm going to give him later. But I just want to show you. This is our little bag of bone broth ice cubes. My beef bone broth packets that I dilute a lot and I can make a crap ton of these and he absolutely loves them. He didn't like ice cubes until he had a bone broth ice cube. Um, so this is the cup of bone broth and I'm just gonna pour it into the molds. I do it with something under it because it's itself is really flimsy and it's hard to get it in the freezer without spilling everywhere. So I put a like my under it just for extra stability when I'm moving it into the freezer. That's how I make the bone broth cubes. Who knows, maybe I'll make a lick mat for them too. But yeah, hi Stinky. We're gonna take a little training station. We're gonna end there and let you cool off for a little bit and then we're gonna go gear you up and go out and go work. Good morning. Yes. Happy man. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for the nibbles. Thank you for the nibbles. Right off the I just got Simon dressed. He's in his red set today. Yep, he's in his stylish Puko collar and then the Ground Zero gear harness. Um, and then I have my Freckle Frog gear pull strap. I think this is a Doodle Gear Designs patch tab. And then I have a Cardiac Alert Dog patch on this Velcro counterbalance and like a little medical emblem here. But that's his outfit for today. I just got my boots on. As you can see, Mr. Ryan is in work mode. Good boy. Yes, you. Um, I haven't even gotten his leash yet, but I'm gonna fill up his treat bag before we go. Yes, good boy. Are you excited to work? Yes, mama's gonna fill up your treat bag. So she's got all full for our outing, mister. Handsome man. We're outside now. Do business. I always try to give him a chance to do his business before we leave. Simon, do your business. And if he doesn't need to, it's a good little decompressor before we leave. Ah, it's windy. Yes, good boy. Forward. Good 
Good job. Good boy, Simon Hill. Closer. Yes. Good job. He is alerting. Heart rate alert in the mole. Good boy. This is good practice. We had a little bit of an off day yesterday, so this should be good today. You know what time it is. It's the only time our fiance. Ah, go get it! Yeah! There you go. Good boy! Yeah! Good boy! There's the zoo. I'm gonna be our new go-to set because I really need the counterbalance on a day-to-day -day basis and it's red and like more professional and yeah I'm obsessed with the pull strap and yeah I'm just obsessed with this setup the harness is from ground at zero gear it's completely rose gold and red I loved using this today he worked great in it I came home and Luna is cuddled on this chair with <laughs> Simon snuckle me it's a good girl. You're so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. Pretty girl. Good boy. Yes, good man. Yeah. You're being a good girl too. Ooh, big yawn. Yes, tweaks. That's a good girl. You're so cute. Look at how cute you are. Oh, Lulu. My baby girl. I can't believe you're three years old. And you're two years old. She's only a year older than you, Mr. Happy Butt. It's for some reason like 60 degrees today. It's nice out. So we're gonna sit outside and not just like in the greenhouse. Yeah. I'm gonna let him hang out, sniff, do whatever he kind of wants to within the length of my flexi. And yeah, I'm just gonna hang out and enjoy the sun because it has not been nice for a long time and I need some vitamin D, I need some sun, I need some happiness from the sun. <laughs> you did good work today. You did very good work today. You did good work. Meet your man. I am back inside. It was very nice sitting outside, but I need a Zofran. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, prep and push a Zofran. Cause I've done fluids today already. I just need Zofran before I snack on anything. And I also didn't take my morning meds. So I'm gonna take at least my own Eprazole today. I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'll be back.
I just keep Simon his topple. His neck topple. So that'll last him about 25 to 30 minutes. But he's like, wait, you already gave it to me. Yes, good boy. Is it pretty? 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 Yes, good job. Okay, go for it. <laughs> he loves his topples. <laughs> 